Hi kids, it's me again, Miss Sue. Welcome back to the St. Mary's County Public Library, and I'm gonna share a couple more books with you. Today, we're gonna to be reading, or actually talking about this book. It's called Chase the Moon, Tiny Turtle. It's a hatchling's daring race to the sea by Kelly Jordan. It's illustrated by Sally Walker. And as you can see, this book is about some turtles, special kind of turtles. New loggerhead baby turtles hatch from eggs on the beach and they follow the light of the moon to find the ocean so they hatch at night and follow the silvery beams from the moon to get back to the ocean but there are many dangers along the way they travel as a, in a pack all together but they're individual and there's a couple pictures in here there they are hatching they're kind of buried in the sand and they peek up through and they see the light of the moon and they start traveling back to the water. And they have to be careful of dangers like crabs and maybe wild dogs and even owls. They live, when they get to the water, they're safe and they live amongst the seaweed and they grow pretty large over the next few years. And then when they're all grown up, the mother turtles that wanna lay their eggs they will travel over a thousand miles to get back to the very same beach where they were born so that they can lay their eggs, which is called a clutch, in the sand. And that's just a little bit about this kind of a tiny turtle. Thanks for joining me. Sue again for the St. Mary's County Public Library and I'm going to tell you today about a book called Swashby and the Sea by Beth Ferry and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. And this book is about a old pirate but he's getting ready to retire and so he goes to the sea and he lives in this little shanty house on the sea where everything is salty and sandy and serene and he's very happy until a little girl moves in next door and she's playing and having fun and he's thinking Arr, i don't like having little girls live next to me so he writes no trespassing in the sand but then the waves come along and they wash it away and all the little girl sees is sing and so she does she sings and sings and he's like ah this kid i gotta get rid of her so he writes in the sand again that says, please go away. But then the sea washes over it again. And all she sees is play. And so she entices him into playing with him. Well, turns out some good things come of that, having a neighbor that's a little girl. Poor Swashby learns that sometimes the sea knows what he really needs. Do you know what he needs? I bet you can find out if you check out this book, Swashby and the Sea. And if you stay tuned for a little longer, we're going to have a piratical story by our own Miss Tess. Avast to me hearties, I come to you from my pirate ship on the ocean to tell you a tale of three fearsome pirates. There was Captain Redbeard, 
Captain Bluebeard and Captain Black Ponytail. And it was time to give the pirate ship a new paint. And Captain Redbeard wanted to paint it red like the blood of his enemies. And Captain Bluebeard wanted to paint it blue like the ocean that they sailed. Captain Black Ponytail wanted to paint the ship black like the darkest night. But they couldn't agree. They just kept fighting. And so they all went to Sherwin Williams, where all good pirates buy their paint. And Captain Redbeard bought a bucket of red paint. And Captain Bluebeard bought a, cup of, a bucket of blue paint. And Captain Black Ponytail bought a bucket of black paint. And they all started painting. They all started painting at the same time. They were painting their pirate ship and all of the colors rushed together. And they painted the pirate ship maroon. That's what happened when all the colors ran together, which is an unlucky color because then they became maroon on a desert island. And that's what happens when you can't collaborate and compromise with your friends. So always be nice and make good decisions, my friends, or you too shall become marooned on a desert island.